हेलो गायज आई वेलकम यू टू ऑल टू टूडेज करेंट अफेयर्स डिस्कशन दैट इज थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च यूरोपियन पार्लियामेंट बैंस सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक प्रोडक्ट्स एंड इंक्लूड दैट इज द यूज ऑफ सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक प्रोडक्ट सच एज स्ट्रॉज कटलरी कटन बर्ड्स दैट आर गोइंग टू क्लॉक द वर्ल्ड ओशन आर कंप्लीटली बैंड they set a target to gather 90% of plastic for recycling by 2029 and mandates the production of plastic bottles with 25% recycled material by 2025 and 30% by 2030 the law also insists on polluters the principle insisting polluters to pay the cost of clean up so here is some of the points for single use plastic or disposable plastics they can be used only once before they are thrown away or recycled they are not usually biodegradable and going goes into a landfill where it is buried or it gets into the water and finds its way into the ocean they degrade into tiny particles after many years in this process of degradation they release toxic chemicals which make their way into our food and water supply thereby becoming toxic to mammals animals and other creatures on this earth here is some of the some notable points for european unions it is a political and economic union of 28 member states that are located primarily in europe it has an area of such kilometer square and estimated a population of about 513 million this is the flag of european union Yeah, here you are now listening up uh, the brexit from european union the britain has decided to exit uh, so it, the term brexit uh, here comes from headquarter of the european union its city of brussels that is the belgium's capital official official scripts include latin greek and cyrillic capital city it is brussels it is the de facto capital of european union it was founded in 1993 at netherland maastricht city founders country include germany france italy netherland belgium and luxembourg next topic is laurus lab limited partners with global funds laurus lab is a lab which deals particularly with the treatment of hiv and aids they made make drugs and it is a hyderabad based pharma and company of india only they have deal with uh, strategic partnership um, agreement with global fund for a period of 3.5 years the global fund has created to fight aids tuberculosis and malaria it was created in 2020 2002 to raise money and invest the world's money to respond to three of the deadliest infectious diseases that is aids tb and malaria let me highlight this that is aids tb and malaria so they will togetherly work in this direction to control of this three deadliest disease of the world and to eradicate it wholly and being control over it next topic is india army indian army inducted four indigenous dhanus soldier induction of dhanus soldier in goan gives major fire power boost to the indian armed forces it is a long artillery guns um, uh, fast ever indigenous 155 mm to 45 caliber uh, long range this may be helpful in your men's uh, answer writing uh, the dhanus long range artillery guns are equipped with inter- inertial navigation um, best sighting system auto link facility on board ballistic computation and advanced day and light um, direct firing system so both uh, in day and light um, in night um, they can fire and they can have attack on uh, um, its enemies the self propulsion propulsion unit on dhanus allows the gun to negotiate and deploy itself in mountainous terrain with each dhanus is also electronically upgraded to enhance firing accuracy laying speed of the existing gun and to provide compatibility with various kinds of ammunition as well so this is the picture of dhanus archer gun the 150 mm towered hauger is used in indian army the design is based on uh, bofors uh, how beats fh77 and is acquired uh, in the year 1980 the gun completed its development in 2018 and was approved for series production in 2019
द ईयर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन इंडियन आर्मी हैज़ एडर्ड वन वन फोर गन्स बट द टोटल एडर साइज हैज़ इंक्रीज अप टू फोर वन फोर गन्स स्टडी सेज इंक्रीजिंग लेवल्स ऑफ इट इज द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक सी ओ टू लेवल इंक्रीज विल एफेक्ट द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ हुईट दैट इज द ट्रिटिकम एस्टिवम साइंटिफिक नेम The study conducted by Indian Institute of Technology that uh, located at uh, Khadakpur and the study conducted in wheat, paddy, maize, etc. Study has also shown that even though increased carbon dioxide levels stimulate wheat productivity, the consequent rise in temperatures uh, will would have a negative impact. There have been no optim uh, optimism in tropical countries like uh, Greenland, Canada, uh, northern China, and uh, Europe, where annual temperatures are currently well below the optimum range but whereas in tropical countries like india there is a heightened concern as it is red uh, raised already higher temperature and of and further rises in temperature may prove very disastrous to the country like india next topic is ministry of health added new rule to the drugs and clinical trial rules Union Minister of Health and Family Welfare uh, Ministry uh, uh, defined the um, added rules of drugs and clinical trial up to 2019 which aim to promote clinical research in the country the new rules uh, in include the time for approving application uh, to up to 30 days for drugs manufactured in india and 90 days uh, for um, the drugs developed outside the country the new rules state in case of no communication communication for dgci sorry dcgi that is drugs controller general of india the application will be deemed to be have been approved if uh, no reply from uh, dcgi of india and then the application has deemed to be approved the new rules also ensure patient safety patent safety as they would be uh, and listed for trials with informed consent and ethics committee uh, the rules waive up the requirement of local clinical trial um, the local clinical trial is um, whole totally waived up by approval of this uh, dcgi the new rules aim to promote clinical research in india by providing for a predictable transparent and effective these words are important predictable transparent and effective regulation of clinical trials by ensuring safe faster accessibility of new drugs to the indian population here is uh, dr s iswara reddy uh, who is uh, the current drug controller general of india under the gamut of central drugs controller organization it is responsible for approval of licenses particularly specified categories of drugs uh, such as blood and blood products Uh, the iv liquid intravenous fluids and uh, vaccines and sera in india it comes under ministry of uh, health and uh, family welfare this is a particular question used to come in prelims questions next topic is central lips interest rate on small saving scheme unchanged the ministry of finance has decided to uh, remain unchanged the small saving scheme uh, the interest rate of small saving scheme scheme like um, post office saving bank account post office time deposit national uh, saving certificates uh, public provident fund kisan vikas patra sukanya samriddhi yojana the unchanged rate remains same for uh, nsc that is 5 years the ppf for 15 years uh, that is at a rate of 5, uh, 8% uh, while money deposited in kbb uh, the kisan vikas patra will double in uh, little over 9 years within 9 years it is uh, it has it will be uh, doubles at the same time in if one is working money in a fixed deposit with a maturity of 5 years in the state bank of india you will get a 6.85% but if any senior citizen uh, will do that then he will get or he or she will get 7.35% uh, of credit interest next topic is gal and bell signed to development of solar power projects a straight owned um, company gal uh, has uh, signed mou with uh, bell for development of solar power and it is done for the two maharashtran uh, psus uh, and uh, the funding will be based on the viability gap funding Mm, here are some of the facts for um, uh, gail that is um, it is a 
इंडस्ट्री टाइप इट इज़ द एनर्जी टाइप इंडस्ट्री फाउंडेड इन अगस्त नाइनटीन एटी फोर के हैविंग हेडक्वार्टर एट न्यू डेली चेयरमैन एंड एम डी बी सी त्रिपाठी एंड इट डील्स विद द प्रोडक्ट नेचुरल गैस पेट्रोकेमिकल लिक्विड हाइड्रोकार्बन्स लिक्विफाइड पेट्रोलियम गैस ट्रांसमिशन सिटी गैस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एनर्जी एंड पावर एंड इलेक्ट्रिस जनरेशन सेक्टर्स नेक्स्ट दी पी एन बी सेल्स थर्टीन पॉइंट जीरो वन परसेंट स्टेक इन हाउसिंग फाइनेंस आर एम फर आर एस एटी फिफ्टी वन एटीन फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो करोर दी पी एन बी सोल्ड आउट दी हाउसिंग फाइनेंस आर एम टू दी ग्रुप लाइक जनरल अटलेंटिक ग्रुप एंड भाडे पार्टनर्स एट आर एस वन करोर इन टोटल पर आर एस वन एट फिफ्टी रुपीज पर शेयर दिस डिफेक्ट्स आर नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट बट द थिंग्स वैन फॉर दैन पी एन बी सेंड सम शेयर्स टू जनरल अटेंटिक गुरु भाटे पटना दिस फैक्ट इज इम्पोर्टेंट डाटा आर नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज जस्टिस डी केजन टू बी द इफिक्स ऑफिसर अंडर इंडियन क्रिकेट बोर्ड दैट इज बी सी सी आई सो ही मिस्टर डॉक्टर जस्टिस डी के जैन हु इज हुई रिटायर्ड जस्टिस ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड ही इज हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड टू सर्व एज द इथिक्स ऑफिसर ऑफ इंडियन क्रिकेट बोर्ड एंड इट इज ऑन द एडोक बेसिस बी सी सी आई प्रोविजन्स इन इट्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन रिक्वायर एन इथिक्स ऑफिसर टू बी अपॉइंटेड टू determine and decide issues related to conflict of interest so he will particularly de deal with this con conflict of interest whenever the conflict conflict of interest arises among them they will deal with it Mm, here are some of the facts for BCCI that is Board of Control for Cricket in India is the national governing body for cricket in India. Mm, the board was formed on December to th 2019-28. Uh, it is before independence as a society society is registered under Tamil Nadu Societies Registration Act. The president is C K Khanna, headquarters at Mumbai. चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव इच राहुल जोहरी वुमेन कोच एच डब्ल्यू वी रमन मेन्स कोच रवि शास्त्री एंड एज इट इज मेन्सन डालियर बाउंडेड इन डिसम्बर नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी एट नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज रेड क्रस्ट टू एड वेनेजुएला इन टू वीक्स द रेड क्रस्ट हैज अनाउंसड द एड फॉर वेनेजुएला इन नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स इट ऑल्सो सेट इट वुड नॉट अलाउ एनी पोलिटिकल इंटरफेयरेंस इन दिस ऑफिसर ऑपरेशन एच यू आर मच एवर अबाउट दिस वेनेजुएला क्राइसिस विच कंसर्स हु इज द लेजिटिमेट प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ वेनेजुएला हैज बीन अंडर वे सिंस टेंथ जनवरी टू टेंट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन वैन दी ऑपोजिशन मेजोरिटी ऑफ नेशनल असेंबली डिक्लेयर्ड निकोलास मादुरो ट्वेंटी एटीन इनकम्बेंट invalid and body declared its president new president that is juan guadio to be acting president so uh, as you can see in this picture many of uh, the um, people uh, came on the street uh, protesting against it and reaching slogans uh, to um, against the uh, incumbent president um, um, juan guadio so francisco rosa head of the international federation of red cross uh, said that the organization would begin distributing aid that president nicolas maduro has to date refused to allow um, into the country leaving it stockpiled since mid february on the borders of colombia and brazil um, uh, he said in his statement that uh, they have already attended to um, solve the venezuela crisis but the nicolas maduro government have refused to allow it into the country uh, this is um, the map of uh, venezuela uh, whose capital is caracas uh, the population include 3.2 crore it is a south american country uh, located in the north coast of the south american along its caribbean coast tropical resort islands include uh, isla de margarita Large rocks are the archipelago is are the important ones. The Andes mountain passes through it. A base of visiting Sierra Nevada National Park uh, is um, one of the tourist destination in this. And the Sierra Nevada region also located in this area. Uh, its capital is Caracas, and it is present here. That is in the north coast. The currency is Venezuelan bolivar, and the official language is uh, Spanish. 
um, here is the some fact about red cross it is um, whole totally called international red cross and red crescent movement uh, the it uh, in it is an international humanitarian movement which uh, constitutes 17 million uh, volunteers that is 1.7 crore million volunteers members and staffs worldwide who has founded to protect human life and health it uh, has to ensure um, the respect of all human beings and being, um, prevent and alleviate the human suffering lesser and lesser the red cross is founded in uh, the year 1863 at geneva switzerland headquarter located at geneva and uh, the volunteers around 17 million and uh, these are some of the facts for red cross society next topic is facebook banned white nationalism white separatism on its platform recently the uh, christ church mosque shooting have raised a few concern over the um, social media platforms who were under pressure and criticism that they have failed to confront uh, extremism so in this regard facebook facebook has adopted such a nice step uh, to ban praise support and uh, representation of white nationalism and white separatism on its platform facebook will also direct users who post or search content connected to these ideologies to an organization that organization will help people to leave head groups the white supremacy is defined as a belief that um, the tenants like white should have dominance over people of other background especially where they may coexist but um, the whites should live by themselves in a whites only society a uh, white people have their own culture that is superior to the other culture so white people are genetically superior to other people so this is the mentality this is the thinking of the uh, people affected with or uh, suffering from the white supremacy idealism uh, the white separatism include the separatist political and social movement that seeks the separation of white people from people of other races and ethnicities the establishment of white ethno state by removing non white from existing communities or for by forming new communities elsewhere here you can see the, see in this picture they are protesting against the white separatism and for equality Next topic is five variety of Indian coffees have been awarded the GI tag that is geographical indication tag. Here are the five varieties. They are Kur Karabika coffee from Kodagu district of Karnataka, Wayanad Robusta coffee from Wayanad district of East Kerala, Chikmangalur Karabika coffee from Chikmangalur district of Karnataka, Araku Arabica Bheli coffee from Visakhapatnam district of Andhra and some of the coastal region of uh, the interior region of Odisha. The Babu Budan Giri Hills uh, of uh, the Karnataka uh, state uh, also have the Bar Babu Budan Giri's Arabica coffee. It is located in the Chikmagalura district and this district is very famous for the growing of coffee. Uh, here are some of the states which are famous for growing of coffee that is uh, here is Karnataka, uh, this is um, uh, Kerala, this is Tamil Nadu, this is Andhra and this is Odisha. So some of the part of Odisha and Andhra, the entire um, state of Karnataka, lower region of Karnataka, uh, Kerala and Tamil Nadu is famous for um, coffee growing and here the northeast also um, have a great role in the production of coffee in India. This is also taken from coffee board of India. So uh, thanks for watching. This is the today's discussion and I will elaborately explain all those topics of today's importance which can be useful for uh, your preparation for civil services uh, state PCS or any competitive exam like bank uh, uh, SOPO RRB and RRB Nabad. thank you again thanks for watching and don't forget to like share and comment and not forget to subscribe my channel uh, thank you thanks